Hi, my name is Makita Waterman. I'm the CEO of Top Writing Services Incorporated. Sorry if I'm speaking a bit loud. There's some construction going on in my home, so I have to be a little bit loud so everybody can hear me. Today's topic is Instagram Reels marketing. I've been using Instagram Reels for the past two months. It has been a game changer in building my reputation with my existing followers and getting most of my videos on the For You page. So today I'm gonna to be talking about why you should be on it, some tips and advice on how to go about um, committing yourself to staying active on Instagram Reels once a day, and how you can take your TikTok videos and share it on Instagram Reels. Hi, thanks for joining. So Instagram Reels has been out on um, all of our platforms for the past two months. It is one of the best uh, ways to get in front of new eyes on the Explore page. I personally have been using it every day consistently for the past two months. And hey, if you have any questions as I go along, feel free to leave them below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. And so uh, because Instagram recognizes that I use this feature every day, uh, it, they actually send my videos to the Explore page, which is where everybody wants to see. If you're not sure what the Explore page is, when you click on the magnifying glass at the bottom of Instagram, it's where all your celebrity stuff or all the stuff that you generally like to look at that your followers aren't sharing is seen. So that's the, the nice sweet spot where everybody needs to be. Now, another thing a lot of people don't realize with Instagram is when they have a new feature, they want us to use it, which is why they're pushing out people's content straight to the For You page as soon as they publish their videos. So if there's any way that you can just take 15 seconds of your time once a day, twice a day, three times a day, it's up to you. Make those short videos, make them fun, exciting, creative, think outside the box. If there is some kind of an Instagram or a TikTok challenge happening, jump on those challenges real quick. Um, make sure that you put your spin on it, meaning if Kerry Washington, for example, or some celebrities doing an Instagram challenge, don't copy that challenge, but put your entrepreneurial or talent or skill set into that challenge because you really want to represent yourself in a really fun and creative way that people are not used to seeing. So uh, to get back to what I started to say, when Instagram puts out a new feature, they want us to use it. Um, and they reward you as a result of using their feature as many times a day or as a week as you possibly can. And aside from being seen on the For You page, I'm not sure if you noticed, but yesterday I gave it a try. I started going down my timeline and I hit the bottom of two days of content. And you know what happened? Instagram started showing me people's reels and content that are outside of my following, which is another opportunity for you to kind of put out a reels, scroll, when people are scrolling down, they'll see your reels on a little page here, which gives them an opportunity to learn more about who you are, what you do, why you're passionate about what you do, and more about your business so that you can build stronger relationships with people on this app they'll continue to follow you or they'll convert and turn into your customers. So some of the ways that I've been able to create really fun and exciting reels is I'm on TikTok. So if you're not on TikTok, I recommend that you do it. Um, it has changed me in so many ways other than creating content. Like I feel way more comfortable and confident to get on lives and really do videos every day. So if you're on TikTok, take some of those videos and put them on your Instagram reels. There are ways that you can remove the watermark of TikTok on it. There's an app called capwing.com. It's a free app. If you take some of your TikToks, put them on capwing.com, you can literally crop your video so that it doesn't show the TikTok logo if you're that concerned. Um, and then you can put it on Instagram Reels. So I definitely recommend that you use at least 30 hashtags per Reels video. I recommend that you put these hashtags in the comments um, because it just looks way more professional instead of like 30 hashtags at the bottom of your caption. I also recommend that when you do your Instagram Reels, there's nothing wrong with being educational and kind of just talking about, hi, how are you? Thanks for joining. There's nothing wrong with being educational on Instagram Reels and talking about your products and services and how they benefit people. But what I really would challenge everybody here to do with your Reels is show people a side of yourself that they would never 
see or think of before because you want to create that shock value when people are looking on Instagram and they're looking on their timeline and they see you dancing to a song or they see you you know um, getting ready for a birthday party or they see you stressed out doing your accounting that's something that they will never expect from you and um, I kind of like to call it find a way to grab people's attention because if you can grab people's attention with every piece of content that you share on social media in the first five seconds, you are going to get people to stay watching the rest of that video or reading the rest of your caption. And when that happens, um, it sends a signal to Instagram, this post is important. And when Instagram knows that your post is important because people are watching it until the end, people are reading it until the end, guess what happens? They take that post and they share it with more of your followers. So a lot of people don't know that on Instagram, they only share our posts with 10 to 15% of the people that follow us, which really, really sucks, but that's just the reality of being on an app that almost a billion people are using every month. So when your content is so great and people are spending their time reading it and watching it, Instagram will uh, recognize you and create great benefits by showing it to more of your followers outside of the 10 to 15% of the people that are following you. Uh, hey, how are you? Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining today. Other Instagram Reels marketing tips that I would recommend that you do is show the behind the scenes of what you're up to. Now I know that sounds really nerve wracking, but the way that the Reels works is you can actually stop such a oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Queen. What you can do is you can stop your video, you can put on a different outfit, or you can literally go outside and film in a different out um, scene and try to show people who you are because this new day and age, people are not meeting people at coffee shops like they used to anymore, and people are not going into people's stores as much as they used to. So how else are we going to show people the goofy side, the funny side, the quirky side, the weird side, the geek side, whatever it is that you are? Be vulnerable with your audience. Show it every day because that is the only way that you're going to stand out on an app where a billion people, active users, use it. And it's just the name of the game with Instagram. If we are not catching people's attention, if we are not shocking people with new information or new sides of our personality, if we are not educating, entertaining, and inspiring people every single day, it's going to be hard for people to really be concerned and want to see what else you're, sh you're doing. Because um, let's face it, we want people to like and share our content. We want people to show up for us and want to kind of wait to see what we're going to do next. So I, I can't sit here and say that all of you will figure this out now, but I can sit here and say that if you repetitively do these actions every day, Pick up the phone, just do an Instagram Reels. It does not have to be highly edited. You do not have to look extremely perfect. You don't have to wear makeup. You can literally have a messy bun, wake up on a Sunday morning and say, God, I feel so tired, but guess what? I'm about to paint or I'm about to put these products together or I'm about to head to the warehouse and pick up all these new products. Join me, you know, and just try to do like a series even. If you can do a day one, the next day, day two, next day, day three, um, try to do a mini series and get, make people interested and excited to see what you're going to share next. And one of the best ways to do that truly is a day one, day two, or a part one, part two. You can even storytell on Instagram Reels, talk about something really interesting that happened to you one day, and it doesn't have to do anything to do with your business. It could be a personal moment where you, I don't know, I, I'll tell you a story now. I went to Los Angeles, well, I'd probably about say eight years ago, and I bumped into Sway in the morning. I don't know if you guys know who Sway in the morning is this big um, radio station. Just tell stories like that. Like I just, you know, stepped outside of my house and then my neighbor told me that, you know, I made their day because I was, you know, looking really happy. Like tell stories about the things that are going on in your life and try to create content that makes people think, smile, laugh, or take action. Um, other tips for Instagram Reels that I can offer is to really test new things. You can do something that's totally opposite of what you've done before um, and you might feel nervous sharing it because it, you don't know how people are going to react, but you don't know how people are going to react if you don't do it. So um, other tips that I can give you, hi, thanks for joining everybody. 
Uh, other tips that I can give you for Instagram Reels is just really be consistent. Um, can be consistent for your audience because people truly really want to see if you are professional, if you are an expert, because it will tell them that's how you're going to treat them when they buy your service, when they buy your product. Are they going to be consistent? Like if she doesn't show up or he doesn't show up every single month, how are they going to treat me when I become a customer? Like kind of think of social media in that kind of a way. And when you're showing up every day and people are like, you're consistent, you're consistent, you're consistent, that builds trust. It builds reputability. It shows people that you will have care. You will have um, concern uh, when you're dealing with them, when they buy it from you, uh, et cetera. Uh, Instagram Reels really is, I look at it as a 15 second commercial that gives you an opportunity to show up for your audience and have fun and be creative. I myself love to just kind of think of new different ways on how I can be completely different. And a lot of the topics that I continue to share from my TikTok to Instagram Reels is based on the number of views, the reactions, and the likes, and things of that nature. And I always do my best to um, have fun be creative and think about what I can do next. And a lot of the inspiration that I also get is from being on apps on TikTok and really getting a general sense of how to create great 15 second videos. So I can also sit here and say that creating 15 second videos can be difficult, especially if you have a lot to say and you're thinking in your mind, it's gonna be hard for me to say this in 15 seconds. How am I gonna do this? Well, I definitely would sit here and say that you have to have a commitment to showing up at least for 90 days. Try Instagram Reels for 90 days. You'll be surprised how many people find you from the Explore page or people in your following are totally impressed by this new creative energy and this new creative content that you're sharing to the point where they want to ask you, hey, I really like your Instagram Reels videos. There's something about you that sits well with me. Can you tell me a little bit more about your products and services? So when you're thinking about your Instagram Reels, thinking about think about it as short commercials that you're filming that are not gonna sell anything at all but an idea or a feeling that you wanna create that will show people that if they buy your products and your services, they will feel like XYZ. Um, Other Instagram marketing tips for success that I can share with you today is to always, of of, of course, post at the right time of the day. Make sure that you're checking your insights and you know exactly what time your followers are on. If 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 you don't really feel like you're getting the results that you're looking for from the times that you're posting based on your insights on Instagram, Sprout Social has a really good blog about the best times to post on social media. It has a section for LinkedIn, Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and I think maybe one other app. So I think the most, uh, the date on that particular blog is October or August of this, August of this year. Definitely check out that blog. And most importantly, as soon as you share your Instagram Reels videos, add that video to your Instagram story. Always make sure that everything you share on your page, you add it to your stories because generally you wanna remind people, hey, I've got something new, especially if those people only look at stories or maybe those people didn't really see your Instagram Reels video on the uh, timeline. They'll look at your stories and they'll say, oh, let me check it out. And make sure that when you put your Instagram Reels as a promo on your stories for people to watch it, tell them why they need to watch it. So tips for people who are giving birth or tips for people who want to clean up their lawn or read a must read, tips for people who are starting a new business. So I hope these Instagram Reels marketing tips helps. Thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Um, Make sure to join me next Monday and every Monday after that at, um, I might be changing it a little bit earlier, so stay tuned. I'll share that on an upcoming post and on my Instagram stories. But I hope these Instagram marketing reels tips really help you. It is definitely helping me share a different side of myself to my audience that I generally wouldn't show 
on Instagram and it's also helping me to become more confident in my sound, in my voice, in the way that I brand and show up on the internet every day. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Um, send me a direct message too. If you're a little confused about Instagram Reels, I'll see if there's any way that I can uh, give you some tips and advice. And if you're new to my page, click the follow button. And one more thing, um, I share a lot of Instagram uh, lives that I've done over this entire year that I don't necessarily have here on IGTV. So click the link in bio, check out my YouTube channel so you can stay tuned to, to some of my previous Instagram live videos. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day. Bye.